Are we hyped? Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, Cardmaster is starting his adventure. Or continuing it, I guess. Um, so I just finished the Deep Elf Rockbeard. Oh, sorry, Deep Dwarf Rockbeard. Uh, and this was the next most popular. Um, Cardmaster. So he is a Artificer-style evokey dude with Nemelex as his god. His main tool of killing stuff is going to be his uh, ridiculous number of evocable items, which should be really awesome. Um, I recently saw on Reddit there was a guy... Ooh, a deck of destruction. Awesome. So I recently saw on Reddit that uh, a guy had done a full evocations run. Basically, no melee weapons, just all evo. That sounds really fun. Uh, I want to try that. So this character will mostly be using uh, evocations. Um, hopefully this works out. I, I hope I really do, do hope it does work out. I wouldn't want him to die accidentally because I'm being stupid. So yeah. Uh, let's start identifying some stuff. Uh, make sure that my I don't really need the plus five int because this character doesn't cast. Um, I don't think I'm going to use any casting at all, actually, this game. Uh, let's... I really want to get that wand. See what that is. Uh, let's use the flight, whatever. Wand of digging, that's good. Alright, so the Minotaur is right here. He's already got a, uh, wand, which is good, because that means that I can, uh, sit here and hopefully kill him and take his wand. That's good. What's he got? Rod of Shadows, excellent. So that's... For this character, that is excellent, because that gives us, uh, ooh, resistance. So that's one pip of RF1 and RC, which is good. Uh, but the Rod of Shadows is pretty awesome right now. So that's particularly amazing for this character. Who will want it? Uh, this robe, Confused Blink, Invis, is not that great. Oh, I'm stuck with it. Crap. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a choice but to keep it on, uh, at least until my, ah, uh, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Um, I was going to say, there's no real difference in my robes, but, uh, Confuse is pretty bad for this character. I, I may have just, I kind of just zoned out, sorry. Uh, so I have stealth, I have evocations, I have fighting, and I have short blades. Short blades gets off at 12 for sure. Um, yeah, Short Blades gets off 12. Uh, oh, that's right, what, that's what I was going to say. Alright, so, um, basically this character is going to run as much possible uh, Evo as possible. Uh, I'm not going to try to use Stealth too much. Well, I'm just going to use it as a utility, not as my, like, stabbing. I'm not going to be stabbing most of the time. Um, and I'm going to try pretty hard to... Make sure this guy has a lot of evocations uh, as his main source of damage, because that seems more fun. I ran out of uh, out of my deck already, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, I'm a spriggan now, I forgot. Uh, I'm pretty much going to have to abuse my wands and stuff for the time being, while I wait for... Uh, let's actually switch this to B. Uh, while I wait for my... <sighs> Nemlex to start gifting me decks, because he seems to be not gifting me as much as I'm using it, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's use the Rod of Shadows to just summon some dudes. Uh, they should be able to handle most of the enemies here. Um, I, I'm hoping that I can fight enemies toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I really can't, because I have such low health. So I'm just going to use Rod of Shadows when I have the chance. Uh, thankfully, this evocations, it's summoning things that are quite powerful already, so... I can take on most enemies with just the Rod of Shadows. Uh, and since it is rechargeable, I of course can use it over and over again. The only issue that I'm having is of course the fact that it drains my hunger every time I use it. Which means that I can't, and I can't really train it to be otherwise, so this might be a bit of an issue. Uh, who knows though. Currently I'm doing okay. Uh, a deck of war is good because it means more hungerless evocations. I'm going to use it now. Uh, Fortitude, I think that gives me more strength, that's not very helpful. Uh, this gives me Cleave, I think. Let's just use... Oh, okay, so this summoning thing gave me Boggets, which can summon more things, awesome. 
all good. Uh, if I acquire something, it'll probably be a weapon. I want a quick blade, just to kind of shore up my defense and offense uh, to acceptable levels, I suppose. I would say a character that runs... Every character should have a little bit more than a dagger to defend themselves uh, in, in a game, other than a pure mage that uses staves. Um, I'd expect at least a dagger. Uh, is, are there any decks that I left lying on the floor? What, what was that? Uh, it wasn't anything. Damn. Okay, that's alright. So I'm faster than these blink frogs, which is good. It means that I can reposition myself if they blink into an unfavorable spot like this. Uh, let's use a deck of war. Let's do anything. Helm skin hardens, that's pretty good. So this is giving me cleave right now, so I want to kind of use my uh, cleaving. Oh crap, holy. Whoa, I could be dead right now. Uh, I'm going to drink potion. Oh, okay. That's not good at all. Uh, do I have my potions done? Oh my god, I'm dead. Unless I get my heal wounds right now, I'm dead. Uh, uh, um, oh god, Ambrosia, thank god. Okay, so Ambrosia just saved my life there. Uh, the tiny amount of regen that it gave at the cost of confusion. Oh, that just saved my life. It gave me just enough health to get out of lethal poisoning. Okay, thank god. That was a mistake by me. I'm going to back off completely until I get to full health. Yeah, I wasn't used to playing this. I'm not used to playing this character. It's been about a week since I last played him. Um, and when I did get to Lair, it was kind of not really an established Lair. It was kind of just, I got to Lair. So, you know, this character wasn't too ready to do Lair anyway. Uh, is what I mean. Unlike the Deep Elf. Uh, the Deep Door. Oh man, okay, so I might actually just go through this floor and then maybe continue on to do a bit of the dungeon because this character seems a bit under level. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I can't go for a stab on the Hydra, that's okay. Uh, Hydras are not as an, as much of an issue for this character, it's mostly just how, much, how many resources am I willing to get rid of uh, in order to. Um, in order to kill it. Uh, so I don't have any real great... Oh, right, I have the Rod of Shadows. What am I doing? Yeah, this might take a while, a bit of uh, adjustment here and there, because I'm not very... I'm not used to this, uh, using a non-melee or a non-magic. The ability, uh, my reliance on evocation is pretty new. Uh, I wanted to do this character for a while, because it just seems kind of interesting. Spriggan was picked just so that I could increase my survivability. Uh, hilariously, I almost died just then. Um, let's drop some stuff. Uh, wizardry, intelligence, degeneration, poison, all these can go. Alright, so I'm going to finish this floor. I'm going to do up to D10 probably, just so that I can... Uh... Alright, so the, the, rod, the Rod of Shadows gives me two attempts at shooting the rod, and then it runs out. So I need to remember that. I'm going to continue down. That was a completely useless Rod of Shadows there. Uh, I need to be very careful with the way that I approach these enemies. Um, just having like a really bad position could kill me. And I, if I need to basically wait for my Rod of Shadows to summon something really good. Like a Hornet Simulacra, I guess. Because that's ice damage. I don't know, I guess that's a good one. Alright, let's let's go back to dungeon. Let's just I'm not feeling too great about my chance of survival in there. I already blew like half my consumables. A Titan on D18 is very good for us. Uh we've just been drawing the same freaking cleave card. I'm kinda bored of that, so let's not. Uh yeah, let's keep equipped myself. The Titan was there for just moral support, I guess. I don't know. Uh, remove curse. Let's get the robe of resistance on. It gives me one more armor, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna need defenses quite soon, actually. Uh, and I need to get rid of this green orc before it kills me. Uh, okay, let's just back off. Let's just keep backing. Up. I'm faster than them. I should use my speed to my advantage, but I'm not really doing so because I'm uh, still used to playing the deep dwarf a little bit. 
and also recently another character that I've been trying to get to work, which it hasn't. Um, I've been trying out more builds for the uh, more builds for the uh, Road to Lair, so I can continue on later. I'm in the middle of trying to get one to work. I'm getting a little bit pissed off because it's not very consistent at all. Uh, these are all like first attempts to get to Lair. I haven't really had to think too hard about it. So it's kind of annoying when I find a build and I'm like, this is supposed to be easy. People consider it easy and then it doesn't work. Like it just really grinds my gears. I've been trying to get it to work all day and it's not consistent at all. Um, for those of you that want to know, it's actually a Fedas character. Fedas is supposedly the best god, according to people at Tavern, if you believe them. But uh, I have a feeling they're trolling me now because I really don't think that's the case. Fedas has not shown any strengths whatsoever. That's four green orcs. I need to back off real fast. Make sure that uh, none of them, they're not all in my line of sight because they are going to kill me. Uh, at 60 HP, I have very little tolerance to smiting. Uh, I will probably have to use my evocations. Uh, here it looks like a good place to use. Ooh, a titan. Is useless against 1B apparently. Huh. Go figure. I will, I, I really, th you can really think that a titan could beat a B, but apparently not. Uh, absolutely useless is a good way to describe that. Titan. Poor guy. Uh... I'm not going to put this amulet on in case it's Faith. Faith is good, but I don't think I need it for this character. Oh wow, a cog shop. That is actually really awesome because this character runs it. I'm going to get uh, the deck of defense. Actually, let's get the deck of draining with 11 charges in it. That one's probably better for this character because I can use it as a really strong bolt spell. Uh, the, deck, the sack of spiders is going to be amazing for a high evo character. Uh, I've seen, I've seen uh, decks of spiders take on like Antaeus and stuff. It's pretty insane. Uh, here's why I brought the Bolt of Draining, uh, the Wand of Draining, because with High Evo, it does enough damage to kill everything in one hit, pretty much, which makes it very good. Identification. Let's identify the wand, uh, the amulet. I'm actually gonna put the Guardian Spirit on. I don't have any need for my mana apart from, yeah, there's no need for my mana at all. So, you know, it's actually alright to get rid of it in terms of, uh, to give myself more health, which is fine. Uh, protection from fire, I don't think I need two of. Uh, what else is there? Cold, I kind of want. Dagger of Holy Wrath, that's fine. Amnesia can go. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Book of Fun Life, not useful. Alright, so yeah, this character is building a lot of strength already, which is awesome. Uh, it's kind of fun because, you know, uh, I'm not, oops, because this time around, uh, all the power spikes that I'm used to are not relevant. Like, I'm not looking for any armor, I'm not looking for any weapon in particular, I'm looking for wands and decks and, like, vials of floods. Those are pretty interesting power spikes. I consider those power spikes for most characters, but for this one in particular, it's pretty much all that I'm getting, which is both awesome and terrifying. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to finish till D10, and then I'm going to continue on to Lair. Uh, the reason why I want to do that is, of course, so that I can... Well, let's get a Sack of Spiders, I guess. And summon a Titan with the Rod of Shadows. Uh, I'm trying to pull back so that all, all my allies can hit at the same time. It's not really working out too well, though. Uh, Dagger of Freezing compared to my Dagger of Draining. I think the Dagger of Freezing will be better. Slightly. Uh, because it hits cold resist enemy, uh, hits the poison enemies and they, sorry, the cold blooded enemies and they just take a lot more damage. Uh, let's get a rod of shadows here. All right, good. That's going to be quite useful. Um, short blades is going off forever, pretty much. It's never coming back on. I'm going to get some dodging. I'm going to drop stealth and I'm going to leave fighting on. So I'm going full evocator right. Finally, Nemlex gives me a uh, god gift, which is fine. I'm going to try not to use it as much now. I'm going to use the other stuff first. Uh, four Identify Scrolls is fine for me. I need to quickly, pretty much, ID all this stuff. 
uh, so that you know it's as effective as it can be. So I have some potions. I have my first heal wounds potion, which is good now. Oh, another gift! Wow, Nemlex is starting to pick up his piety gain, which is awesome. Uh, I can now use his stuff a little bit more liberally, not too liberally, but uh, I just got focus. So my main, my worst stat, which is strength, got dumped down down by one, and my strongest. Uh, Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw some cards of destruction and stuff. Hopefully I can kill all these. Yeah, so the focus card cuts your strongest stat down, and it increases your... Sorry, it cuts your weakest stat down, and it increases your strongest stat by one. Uh, it's not really that relevant to me, because stat death isn't a thing anymore. Uh, six strength is fine, I don't really care about it. Uh, there's not really too many good weapons. Maybe this is a better dagger? It's plus one, I might as well. Uh, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of um, orcs here. I'm going to try to cast some dis uh, destruction cards. Hopefully get rid of the stronger orcs. If I could just get rid of like the strong ones, then the weak ones don't really matter. Uh, at this point I have so much dodging, they're not really going to hit me. Uh... Yeah, okay, so I'm waiting for basically an Acquire Scroll and also a uh, some more wands. And maybe Vile of Floods, like Lamp of Fire, that kind of stuff. Uh, and once that character, once that's done, this character will pretty much have all the defense and offense he needs to finish the game out. So let's, com let's go back to Lair. I think this character is pretty strong now. He's got a lot of power spikes uh, that I just picked up in the decks and the wands and all that stuff. Uh, so he should be able to handle most enemies. Now, uh, worst come to worst, you can just tab them infinitely with these draining daggers. Even though the dagger kind of sucks, uh, my dodge means that I can just never get hit by enemies. Like so. Which is awesome. Um, Porcupine actually hurts. My high stealth should be able to uh, also be able to avoid most of the enemies that I don't want to fight just yet. I can get a lot of distance away from them. For example, this one. I'm even faster than a Spiny Toad, which is pretty unusual for a character. Uh, there's the... Oh god. Okay, so I need to stay out of uh, out of melee completely from this character. Uh, yeah. So Hydra's... I can't even afford one turn. I, I'm The likelihood of being one-shot is incredibly high. Uh, I don't want to spend any turns in melee allowing it to attack me at all. Because that could mean death. I'm going to use my Wand of Shadows to summon some dudes. That's going to take care of this pack quite easily. And I'm going to wait until the... And as I'm exploring, the uh, Wand of Shadows will return to its full state, which is good. Uh, Scroll of Brand Weapon. I'm going to enchant this Dagger of Holy Wrath into a Dagger of Piercing. That's actually not bad. Uh, I don't know if I really want Piercing, though over draining, which can be stacked on an enemy. Piercing is just flat damage, which is not great, in comparison. Uh, ooh, another deck. So an all war of deck of war, which is good. A buckler looks good. Plus zero, that's fine. Uh, I might train a bit of shields just to get the buckler uh, doing something. Again, this character is not running any magic at all, so the shield is not weighing me down too badly. Uh, it's just giving me bonus defense and cutting my dagger skill, like my speed of dagger swing a little bit, but that's fine because, to be fair, the dagger is not really... Ow. Okay, that was an accident. Let's hit him with magic darts, I guess. No, actually, no. Let's let's not be stupid. I'm not going to bother wasting my time shooting magic darts at that guy. It's not going to kill him. Uh, the Rod of Shadow seems to be okay, though. I'm summoning pretty consistently good stuff, so... Good about that. Good with that. Uh, ooh, a plus two hat. A direct upgrade over my regular hat. Uh, let's get rid of this robe as well. I don't really need our poise. As long as I don't get hit, I'm okay. Uh, scroll of silence is fine. None of these enemies are cool. I'm just gonna... Oh, I summoned a dragon this time. Awesome. This character is basically a uh, summoner already. That's pretty cool. A book of battle. Eh... I probably don't really... I I can cast, but I won't cast right now. I'd rather just get my stuff up and running first. Uh, ooh, Yaktors. 
Cool. Death axes are kind of scary. Um, uh, what can I do here? Let's spam this uh, regular deck of uh, this regular deck of uh, destruction. Reason being is um, it's not as high spell power, I think, naturally, because it's a plain one, but it still did alright. Uh, identify is good, that means I can identify all my strongish ones, uh, which means that I can use them to their max potential. Uh, let's just keep blasting away, I guess, with that deck. I reformed everything, apparently, to weaker stuff, which is awesome. There's another unknown thing. It's still not a requirement. Which I guess I shouldn't be hoping for, but you know, I'm, I said I wanted one, and I was hoping they'd give it to me. But if they don't, that's okay. I'm not judging. I secretly am, though. Uh, so wave of frost. I'm just gonna go look for it. I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, let's just spam the de uh, the destruction. I guess. Uh, I don't. I don't know where this thing is. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Oh, I summoned a Hydra this time. I'm going to try to tank the Spiny Toad so that the Hydra hits it a lot. It didn't do a lot. Whatever. It's fine, I guess. For some reason, the crocodile's nearby. I got a Ornit Deck of Destruction. Uh, so I'm, need, I'm looking for the, the Ice Cave, but it doesn't seem to be showing up at all. Very distant. So it's, I basically have no idea where it is. I'm just hoping that I cover enough squares that I'll be okay. Uh, let's drop these two ones that are empty. I have a legendary deck of war. I'm going to use it. Gave me elixir, which is all regen. Potion. Okay, let's just leave that one then and use destruction instead. Uh, the deck of war tends to be pretty awesome. Uh, it gives you like fairly random buffs. So, you know, having it is good. I have RC, right? Yeah, I do. Good. Uh, use a deck of uh, Rod of Shadows. That's going to give me summons. All good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which one this one is. I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to let my wand recharge. I'm going to summon some dudes. There's three statues, apparently. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. I was kind of hoping that my evocations would be able to take care of it, but apparently not. Uh, let's use the Wand of Fire to clear these out really quickly. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna just try to hit it really quick. It's not working. Let's just use the Wand. I'm gonna pull back, and I'm gonna use the Rod of Shadows now. Hopefully that will be able to take care of the statue. There we go. Good. Alright, so we got a scroll, an amulet, and some gold. Scroll of acquirement, weapon, quick blade. Thank you. Jesus. Alright, that was what I was looking for. Quick blade, even if unbranded, it'll still do enough damage. Um, I was hoping it would be branded, but whatever. Can't get whatever, everything, right? Let's get rid of the stasis. Uh, hmm. Amnesia can go. Uh... Let's use the enchant armor on this robe of resistance. That seems like a pretty good idea because robe of resistance is good. Um, yeah. So the quick blade is just there for extra damage. It lets me be competitive in my stabbing and fighting because I hit at 0.3 speed, which means that even if I have crappy as hell attack, I can just keep attacking constantly. I get three hits a turn. So this plus four slaying is technically like you can think of it as I guess plus three up. Uh, this plus 4 quick blade is kind of like a plus 12 damage per, per turn. So it is doing some amounts of damage, which is good. Uh, of course, it's not going to work too well against heavily armored enemies, but against those guys, I'll probably just use my regular attacks, um, mainly the evocations. Oh, okay, let's try to stab these guys while they're asleep. Uh, I know stabbing is not as good with a quick blade, but again, it doesn't really matter. Okay, Rupert. So I'm going to summon my Rods of Shadow. I'm going to use a deck of spiders, and I'm going to just attack him with everything. Uh, and I'm also going to drop these 
these ones as well. I don't really need those. Uh, let's pick up the recharging stuff. Yeah, I was gonna, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna pay attention to Rupert because I know he's dead. I have so many good summons, like, I know he's, he's gone. Um, he's not really a threat to me. There's like a wall of spiders between me and him, and he's not exactly good at dodging spiders. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be a pain, I can already tell now. Uh, I'm gonna have to start getting rid of my inventory pretty quick. Enslavement can go... I only need four charges, really. Uh, a lot of this game is going to be me running my decks to the ground, pretty much. I'm going to try to use as much as I can. Uh, yeah. Let's just start spamming this, shall we? Okay, I can probably go into this corner. Use a deck of... Okay. Elixir. Okay, Elixir is good. I can just use it to fight while I have sustain. Okay, good. So my Evo is doing pretty well right now. Um, it's showing some very considerably potent effects so far. Uh, my conjurations. I'm basically. I basically have conjurations. Um, I have summons. I have melee. Like he has everything that a character would need, conceivably. Which is nice. Oh crap, that was an accident. I tapped too far. Uh, let's use a deck of war. That doesn't help me right now. Uh, deck of destruction, maybe? Yep, okay. I reformed him into a minotaur, which means his damage is a lot less. Uh, not on minotaur, I don't think it does as much damage as a hydra. Ooh, I stabbed a hydra. Let's see if I can do it again. Bam! Killed. That's kind of cool. So I, I basically, yeah, I basically have like everything. I have melee. I have. Okay, this is bad. War. Uh, let's just keep spamming the deck of war. Uh, okay. So this thunderstorm, I'm thinking, is hitting my is going to hit me, which is kind of scary. Uh, I'm going to back off. Use the rod of shadows. It's not really doing much, but whatever. I just need to kind of back off a little bit and then just start shooting at him. Uh, shooting at these death acts with uh, all the stuff I have. Somehow they got lost uh, in that corner, so good on me, I guess. Uh, and my shadow pack should be able to handle it. One death act I think I can take. Yeah. I can't take on more than one death act by myself, but I can certainly do... Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is Rod of Shadows, actually pretty awesome. Uh, how much does a Rod of Shadows use? I B. It costs 5, so if I can get it to 15 to recharging the Rod, to I can get it to 15 points, I can use it 3 times, but I don't think I need to recharge it just yet. I might. I might consider it. Alright, so Lair 7 is done. Ton for Lair 8. Uh, I'm just going to use the Quick Blade on the easy enemies, and I'm going to continue on. Shield is already at 4, which means that it's... Oh, I actually need 7 because I'm small. Damn. Alright, whatever. I'll just keep putting points in. It's not a big deal. Uh, fighting needs to go up higher. Evocations is already at 15. I'm going to get it to 27, pretty much. I'm not going to turn it off until it gets to 27. Uh, I might unfocus it, but I certainly won't. Um, I'll certainly keep it on. So we'll be there. Yeah, so Hydras are surprisingly very easy to kill with this character. I just kind of walk back and let my guys handle everything. Uh, I need to remember to eat food. Being engorged with this character is fine, because uh, the food just ends up in my belly anyway. I don't get any resource to buffer it out. Stone Giant is awesome as a summon. That's basically like a trog summon. Uh, so that's pretty good. I can fight four elephants, three, three or four elephants at a time now, because... Frankly, they don't have the power to hit me, so I can just keep backing off and hitting them. And they can't really do too much. Uh, another stone giant. Good. It's kind of nice that they have stone giants that come with rocks, so I can uh, they actually throw as well as hit heavily. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's just use it again. Alright. There's a lot of enemies here. Let's uh, start summoning my decks of war, destruction, war... Oh man, a uh, allied vampiric, uh, not vampiric, executioner's axe of electrocution. That's gonna kill a lot. Uh, that's pretty awesome. 
I'm gonna just kind of back off here. Let my summons do all the work. Uh, that's me. Um, spoiler alert, one of my characters died. Oh, a very ugly thing. I don't think my character can handle that. He's dead. Yeah, so Cardmaster turned out to be really awesome. I didn't think he would be this good. Uh, evocations are amazing right now. Wow. This was not expected at all. I, I will admit, I thought it was going to be a bit weaker than this. I'd be relying a little too heavily on the uh, evocations, as in Nemlex decks. But he's actually not proven to be that incredibly useful right now. Uh, as I see it, my my Rod of Shadows is more amazing. Um, and Rod of Shadows is not that rare. It's actually quite... Like, the fact that I got the Minotaur's Labyrinth was pretty good. But it's not actually that amazing luck. Um, had I got, like, a Rod of Swarm or Rod of... Uh, anything, pretty much, it would have been the same outcome. This is another Execution's Axe of Electrocution. That's awesome. Man, that, that does so much damage. Alright, two recharging ones. I'm actually going to use them both on the Rod of Shadows. So now I have a plus... Oh! I have a plus 16 now. I thought I had a plus 15. Oh, well, I can use it three times now, which is awesome, before it runs out. Uh, sustain attributes don't want it. Uh, what's this? Drain, Invis, MR, Strength, C, Invis. These are all useless to me, uh, pretty much. So I'm going to get rid of it. The glorified Strength Ring, which I don't need. Alright, so that's Lair done. Wow, that was pretty quick, actually. Uh, it only took me about 20-ish 20, 20 minutes, which is quite good. Uh, so this character is going to be pretty fun to play, I think. Um, hopefully he gets a lot more luck than the Deep Dwarf, who didn't get to get uh, all the things I wanted. He got some, but not all. So, you know, I will be looking to get better stuff for this character. Uh, I guess I can just ID that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this part. Uh, Cardmaster will continue.